Hi everyone, today I am making treat holders and um, it's that time of year where I give a lot of little treat holders to various people in my life. And I've got uh, people who I work with or um, just come across. There's the crossing guard or just different people and uh, this one is going to be using the Starbucks Peppermint Mocha Latte. Um, a lot of coffee lovers and um, I am one of them. So I wanted to make something just to kind of hold it and make it look a little cute. So I'm going to just kind of wrap it up in a very simple way uh, with some real red cardstock and some cute little accents from the peppermint or gingerbread and peppermint designer series paper and frosted gingerbread stamp sets. We're going to use the sending you peppermint kisses and um, super easy. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to score this a couple times. So this is a strip cut. It's 11 inches, so it's the full length of a piece of cardstock. And then the width here is three and three and a quarter inches. Okay, and then we're going to score it at four inches, four and a half and five. And I've got a belly band here and I did not bother measuring the score because I'm just going to fold it. And I'll show you why in a minute. Okay, I also cut myself already some designer series paper to kind of accent the treat packaging. Okay, I cut myself a piece. This one is, I should write these things down when I cut them, but I don't. Two by three, and this is three by three and three quarters. Okay, so we're just gonna fold um, kind of our base like this. So we're gonna make like a an M or a W. <laughs> And that is going to be our treat holder pouch kind of a thing. And then this piece of designer series paper is just going to accent the top and the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and stick these down. So my philosophy with treat packaging is that they need to be fast, easy, and inexpensive because you are going to give the person the treat packaging, they're going to eat the, drink the peppermint mocha, and then maybe toss the packaging. Maybe they won't, maybe they'll use it again and buy some more of these and, and hand it to a friend and the love will continue, but you never know. So I don't like to put a lot, I want them to be cute, but I don't like to put too much into, um, too much into the treat packaging and maybe I know that's everybody's got different thoughts on that okay so to hold this closed um, rather than having tabs that I have to cut like I said my philosophy is fast and easy is I'm just going to belly band this to hold it closed and the reason why I don't score is because I like to put the treat in there and hold it in there when I put the belly band around just so that I know it fits and that it's not too tight not too loose and you know easy to easy to work with so that's my philosophy on belly bands for treat packaging so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm not sure if I said the dimensions of this but just in case this is eight and a half so it's the full width of the paper and my cat has gotten in the room so <laughs> she's new and um, sneaky I think I have her all situated and then here she shows up okay so now I know that that fits okay so I, now I want to just dress it up just a little bit more and that belly band kind of keeps it from falling out the side but it holds it in place and we are going to embellish now with simple embellishments like I said my philosophy quick and easy so I'm gonna grab some basic white cardstock and I'm going to use a stamp so I think I showed you sending you peppermint kisses and so I'm gonna stamp that in real red And I'm going to use some dies from my probably most used die set. And it's called Stitched So Sweetly. And I'm going to use this. I already cut myself 
some of these in red, but I can't pre-cut. Well, you can, but I like to stamp first and then die cut around so that I know I've got it exactly where I want it. Although this is a photopolymer, so I probably could have lined that up nicely. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp that or cut that out. Okay. Oh, I also wanted to cut out some of these. Now, you can do this a couple different ways. If you have a bunch of circle punches, go crazy and cut them out with circle punches. Or, the dies that go with this set have these little circles, and it happens to cut out, it's got separate ones, and this one, and it cuts out all, I've got to maneuver it correctly, all three in one swoop, which is awesome. But like I said, if you have circle punches, you can also use circle punches to cut this out. These papers are really sweet and I really like them for um, treat packaging. All right, so I'm gonna grab some scraps of that paper and show you, let's see if I have a bigger piece. Here's one show you how you can use even these cut off ones. So just cut yourself, I don't know, six or so circles. So if you have the dies, two passes, maybe, maybe three, if you want to have some options. So if you notice, this big one here is missing part of it, but I'm not going to care. I'm going to go ahead and cut that out anyway. and I should have used some washing. Okay. I have way more than I need. I just kept going. It was so, I don't know, therapeutic in some way. <laughs> okay, so I've got my pieces here. I want to punch some holes in the ends. So I'm going to grab my hole punch. Now I'm going to tie around with some ribbon here. And I want to go through my label. And then I'm going to do the same thing. Now on this one, it's going to be a little harder. You know what, let me grab my little threader. This is a little dental flosser and it makes threading things super easy. You just thread the ribbon through and bring it up through the hole like so. And these are by the toothpaste aisle and I guess they're for threading floss through braces or maybe dentures or things like that. Okay, so 
So I've got my ribbon all the way through. I'm gonna pull it tight and tie a bow. All right, fix my little end here. That one looks good. Okay, and now my sentiment needs to be added. If you wanna tape this down so it doesn't move, you can do that as well. And then this one I'm gonna add with some dimensionals. go and then with your little peppermint candies you're just going to grab some liquid glue and start attaching them any way you like and those ones that you cut off are great for um, adding behind areas where you won't see that it's cut off so it just adds a little fullness to the project and nobody knows you were using the ends the little scrap pieces And some little candies, and the tiny ones. And they can overlap. And like I said, I probably have way too many, so I think maybe I will stop there. Okay, and then just for a little sparkle, I'm going to throw on a couple of rhinestones. Just a little sparkle, actually, I think. I don't like this one there. Isn't that funny? Just for some reason that was bugging me. It's gonna go there. Okay, a little sparkle, a little fun. And here is a cute little um, treat that you can hand to uh, anyone who you think needs just a little smile this Christmas. Thanks for watching, bye.